Hello, and welcome to another episode of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Last episode, we did the Queen Victoria missions involving various attempts at the Templars regaining power by blowing things sky high. And in this episode, well, last episode, I said I'd be going around and collecting flowers so that I can unlock all the rest of the outfit colors. And then I thought, you know, as long as I'm doing collectathons, I might as well collect everything else. Maybe not everything else, no sense in. I need a wee bit of advice. Uh, going through with all the helix glitches, but. The bottles, the posters, that stuff I plan on collecting. You look deadly with a cane. But we need to activate the flower mission. Well, I want Good to activate you, the flower mission. Let's start. Try. I brought some books. I hope I'm not intruding my being here. Quite the contrary. It's nice to have the company. A herbarium? Are you collecting flowers for someone? Only myself. I'm told it's something of a British pastime. Did you know, they all have symbolic meanings. I had heard something of the sort. Of course you have. Unfortunately, I have no time to fill the book. I could collect some samples. If you would accept my help. I would appreciate that. Thank you, Miss Fry. Alright, so this is supposed to be an Eevee mission. Oh, I'm not able to switch because I'm on the train. <laughs> And one way to do that, if you don't want to go to the map and select all the posters and follow the line, the posters, flowers, whatever, follow the line, you can sort of drive quickly and then hold Eagle Vision and it'll bring up the posters on the map. I guess technically none of them are my carriage, but... Right there. So yeah, that's what I plan on doing this episode. The bottles usually appear in bars, sometimes they're outside in slum areas. Bars, there are people singing, but I'm going to be saving that for the episode where I just go around not collecting anything, not doing any missions, just going around and enjoying the sights and sounds of London. That's gonna be at the very end. chest over here. I'm gonna wanna raise 
my money because I spent it all off camera on getting the equipment and weapons upgraded. I wasn't able to get them all upgraded, but I did get quite a few of them. So at the very Hold end on. of the episode, it's a good song. So at the very end of the episode, I'll finish off the flower mission and show the ending cutscene. So if you don't want to watch a huge collectathon, I'd highly recommend just skipping to that point. It's not as fun or interesting of a collectathon as, say, Mario Odyssey. I'm going to generally skip the chests. Since I'm already gonna be going around on and off here. Yeah. Right over. Over. The posters are, I think, always in these alleyways there. The nice thing about the alleyways is there's usually a carriage by them. So when you do quickly abandon yeah. one of your carriages, you aren't exactly. Missing out on being able to get another. Come on, come on! Man, it's really empty over here. There we go. I'm gonna try to do this burrow by burrow just to make it a little bit easier. Chapel. Alright, that's not too bad actually. Might as well uh, start out here. Uh, it's not even worth getting on here, is it? I just stole this guy's carriage for no reason. If only he didn't make that turn. It sometimes Good work. takes a really long time to get money. Oh, and here's an, one of the rare examples of the bottles not being in pubs. Kids is if you start a fight, they will run away scared and not give you the items. That can be kind of crappy. Let's see. There's a poster. A little illustration. There were a lot of you know political cartoons back in the day and. It's interesting how they sort of evolved. You compare one from like the 19th century to the modern time. The 19th century comes off like a Ben Garrison cartoon where just absolutely everything is fucking labeled. And like if something couldn't have words written on it, there'd be like a little price tag hanging off the thing so that it can be labeled. I guess I recruited Big Boy here. That's fine. I have a pal along with me. 
if he can keep up. Come on, champ. Let's ride. Game tends to freeze a lot when I do the uh, going around and collecting things missions. Like at least I've gone around and tried collecting helix glitches a few times and eventually the game would freeze and then crash. And that would be when I stopped collecting helix glitches for that session. If nothing else, you get a little taste of what the tour around London episode will be like. And again, there, a lot of work was put into... <laughs> Rooks. A lot of work was put into giving this city life. Feel it's only right if we go around and appreciate the sights. everything done in Whitechapel. Yeah, it kinda looks like it. I need one more beer bottle. Which doesn't look like we've discovered. And we need another flower. Alright, I'm going to check to see if I'm able to buy a map for this shit from a merchant. Because I think I am. Get some extra money. Five pounds, but you never know. Chests. Ah, way too expensive. And also book of flowers. I get like two great kids. I'll be able to do that, but... Looks like I'm unable to do or finish off Whitechapel, and they don't even sell the beer guide. Nope. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just go around and collect what I can from all of these areas. Which I knew about this before, like, I started this episode, I would've immediately bought that map. Or those two maps. Uh, what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna collect what I can, what's, like, available to me on my map and hopefully along the way build up a decent profit. Remember this place? This is where we did the first Aberline mission. And 
doing the crowd missions also built up a little bit of money and you know, thankfully they're all or most of them are pretty quick the only one that doesn't work out well is the uh, messenger but since all of them are worth the exact same one crowd event completed there's not really much of an incentive to do the messenger ones interesting and again like if it gets boring I would highly recommend just skipping to the end to see the last easy, easy. flower cutscene. I mean I would skip to it if I were watching this. It's just urgent. So flower right here. On the other side, but we'll take a different street just so we can expand our eagle vision checking. I don't know if there's a poster or a bottle that we haven't discovered on the map yet, or a flower even. color for that, violet and some other color. So we're doing pretty good for ourselves. There's a bottle. I knew one of those guys were hiding away from me. Mainly because I haven't collected any prior to this episode, so of course they're all going to be hiding away. <laughs> what the worst glitch in the game is it's not the crashes actually and something I actually haven't mentioned but it's a real fucking annoyance especially when the game does crash when I like quit out of the game like I'm done playing I go to pause menu you know, quit exit to desktop on Steam the game is still registered as running I, oh, I'm back over at Whitechapel. It looks like it registered all my collecting as done. Wondering if it's like carriages that's causing it to glitch. Alright, as stupid as this is gonna be, I'm gonna... Wow, well, good job, eagle eyes. As stupid as it's gonna be, I'm going to walk around for these collectibles on foot and see if that causes the crashes. Because my hypothesis right now is that it's going to the map, selecting these things on the map, and that's what's causing it to break down. But I'm not 100% sure on it, so I want to see if it matters or makes a lick of difference 
if I'm in a carriage or walking on my own two legs here. Now, what was I rambling about before I rambled about that? Oh right, the, the glitch. When you leave the game, it's still registered as running on Steam. This means that the game is building up playtime hours that aren't being played, which, alright, I don't plan on returning it or anything, so I don't really mind that. But it also means that I can't go back and restart the game when it quits out, or when I decide to quit out, without shutting down my PC and restarting it. And that is annoying. I have no idea what's actually causing it. That's why when the game freezes, I'm you know, just a little bit worried that's gonna shut down. I have to go through all that BS to get started again. Because I, for one, am not interested in restarting the game every damn few minutes. Oh, and there's Aberline. We've done all the burrow clearing missions involving him, and there's gonna be a little cutscene where he talks about you know how great you are and you know what. you running? You know you deserve it. Just stabbed a man right in front of you, and you're like, "Why are you running? I know you disturbed it." Like, not only did you not immediately aggro, but you don't even understand that I'm not running at all. Well, at least away from you. Your bottle. There's a flower over here. So yeah, we're gonna be doing it the slow way. And the crappy thing about it is that, see I did eagle vision there and revealed the location of a uh, illustration. Oh, you've, you, you've got to be shitting me. Alright, asshole. I'll play it your way. You see this crap? I revealed this illustration here, but because I'm on foot, I'm unable to run when doing Eagle Vision. Meanwhile, in the carriage, I can still use the momentum of the carriage moving forward to have a much wider Eagle Vision sweep. And I think... Online check. Yeah, the map's a little bit bigger on the carriage than it is on foot, too. So not only am I able to move around rather quickly with Eagle Vision going on the carriage, but I'm also able to see much more of the map, and therefore my Eagle Vision is much more useful. But in the name of science, we must abstain from carriage riding. Yeah, I'm going to keep building up my money so I can afford one of the maps. And actually, I think I can. Was it 5,000? Yeah, we'll see if there's a merchant nearby, and I'm on the wrong side of this. Oh, now one of these fucking gates are open. <laughs> Oh, there's a merchant over there. It all works out. Alright, let's just see real quick. Yes. So, I'll get the Book of Flowers since that is 
the goal here and then we'll build ourselves up to another 5,000 and get the tour guide and we'll also get the beer tastings of London. Come again now. It, it's not difficult to get money in this game. Like at the absolute worst you farm children. Pissed you off. Got so upset by that building over there, he completely missed a murder. What a chump. Okay, a poster and a beer bottle over here. Books, bank, and book binder. I wonder how they decided like where they set up shop here and how to direct people to their business. And I know there's some beer over here. Occasionally go into Eagle Vision. The collectibles are fairly spread out between each other, so we shouldn't There's a beer in here. Take a look at what I've managed to conjure up today. No. Oh. oh, it's in here. Alright. I should remember, like, pubs always have a corner entrance in this game. Or, you know, restaurant as they call it here. I think I missed a fl yeah I missed a flower here in Whitechapel. I guess we can get that a little bit later. Maybe while I'm in Southwark. Want to stick to the city of London if I can. It would be nice if there was a map setting specifically for collectibles. A flower right over here. Go figure. Doesn't look like there's anything along the way. <laughs> Once again, like, if you want to skip this episode, feel free to. Like, I just want to record as much as I can, just so. Uh, pardon me. <coughs> just so I have the footage for everything. Since I did sort of skip over showing, collecting all the music boxes, which might be even worse than this because uh, music boxes are stuff gaining a special outfit. But then again, there's like plenty of much better channels in mind for this stuff. Again. It really sucks I'm going with this experiment and not able to use a carriage. I almost want it to like crash, I can say sod it, time to use the carriages again. Since it doesn't matter if I'm on foot or driving. along the way. Not make it a complete chump's mad dash to something on the other side of the burrow. Romance. It 
doesn't look like there's anything to collect here. Back in Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, before you get too far in the game, you were able to just go around and rob literally everyone for money. And even when you did get pretty far in the game, you were still able to just rob people. But you're unable to do that in this game. No, Jacob and Evie, despite being mob bosses, are good eggs. They don't go around robbing random civilians like Edward Kenway and Ezio Auditore. That would have made things a lot easier though. up here in this building, might as well get it. Oh, that was like literally the least optimal route to take. Oh, it's still upstairs, really? Oh, let me guess, it's one of those buildings that, yep. Oh, here we go. Actually, isn't this the same sort of building we got the Enzio guy from? <laughs> like, I'm not sure if it's literally the exact building, or... I don't think it's the exact building, because this side had a little garden in front of it. So it's just one of the copy and pasted interiors. Evie Fry can't have her romance yet, neither can you. Dude, I should've, I should've checked to see if I could shoot the birds. Pay closer attention to the ground next time. For fuck's sake! Pay closer attention to the... Did I stutter? I mean, honestly. Paying closer attention to the ground would be good. Because that means I will be able to see if there are any birds to try and shoot. It'd be hilarious if the birds counted as civilians. Alright, let's see what what's the game plan. Uh, River Thames might be next, but it doesn't look like there's any visible right here. Alright, here's one. River Thames. Looks like there's only posters and flowers, and of course they're going to be on the sides. So we'll just cross over this bridge, and looks like everything's like down here. So we'll head down this way, collecting the Thames and Lambeth stuff, and then we'll go fiddle around over here. Does that sound like a good plan? Well, you'd use this merchant as the guy to it. Let me get some experience points for clearing those flowers, but we are already at max experience. I'd much rather have money. having a romantic view over the bridge back there. I want to make sure I showed them who's boss. I don't know how long it takes for the don't kill civilians thing to reset. 
Like, I've shot three and the game was getting all snooty. Like, if you shoot one more civilian, you're desynchronized. Like, I've already beat the game. And plenty of things happen in the game that wouldn't necessarily be part of Assassin Memories. So, you know, yeah. Let me kill civilians, damn it. Alright, there's a shopkeep and here's an illustration. It won't fight. How much do I have? Oh not even close. What do you mean up your mind? Come and see me again. Uh if only we had some good kids. Actually, I think this is near the optimal child farming area I mentioned in an earlier episode. The hell? Oh, here we go. Whatever happens, do not panic. Alright. Ah, uh, nothing real good. Good work. I am up to my ears and resources, and I don't need a voltaic bomb. What I need is money. Oh. Hey, what I say? What I say? back there. Just a ton of them and none of them notice that blighter. It's like sometimes there's gang fights, sometimes there isn't, but most of the time there isn't. Alright, press flower. Once I get like all three of the treasure maps, I'll be able to stop playing this stupid like stop and use eagle vision thing. So far, it hasn't been any crashing or stuttering though, so it seems it is like just the carriages. Desperate for cash, I'm going back to looting dead bodies. <laughs> ah, Evie Fry, stealing flowers from graves. The assassin way, everything is permitted. I love how many games there's been where, like, the protagonist is just an asshole and doesn't understand the deeper meaning of that. And specifically, everything is permitted they latch onto. They don't really care what is or isn't true or not. Like, it was Edward, Arno. Alright, maybe it wasn't that main protagonist, but still, that was sort of the basis of their character flaws as far as the pillars being an assassin go. Alright, we'll get two illustrations. It's great when, like, you have all the stuff available to you on the map, so you're able to just go for it. God damn it. 
you have all the stuff available to you so you can just go from one directly to the other and so, not shop and it's not too far away even with walking the reason to Eagle Vision I just realized is uh, scout out kids but man when you just don't have the necessary tools for it it can be real crappy Criminals, and of course, you want money, so we're going to do a little bit slower way. Not just shooting them in the head, but actively walking over to them and giving them a stab. Me too. So I have like no idea what actually went on that I know where all this stuff is. I can drink to that. All these beer bottles and posters and whatnot. And there's Claro Doyle. Did I unwittingly discover them when using Eagle Vision during missions? Because it seems to me that when you use Eagle Vision once, and it detects something, that thing is on your map permanently. Grave robbing. There's a chest inside Lambeth when I do the chest collecting out to redo that one mission. It's looking more and more like it was the carriages causing the problems with crashing and glitches and all that. I mean, fair is fair, the best glitch we've seen in the game so far was because of a carriage. Fortunately, we weren't able to test how consistent that is because I upgraded my rooks too much. Just wondering, like, why it was a carriage if that's the case. Was it drawing out on the map all the time the directions to these collectibles that was messing with it? Oh, flower. I completely missed that. There we go, all the pressed flowers in Lambeth. <laughs> Alright, looks like we got a poster and beer bottle. They tend to be spread out, but sometimes they are right next to each other, and that is what I like to see, mainly because it's just easier. I mean, in some cases, it is a little bit my fault since I am doing this collectathon all at once. Ideally, you would be doing it over the course of time or throughout the game. Doing a mission and or a burrow clearing section and, oh, there's a poster right along the way. I'll just run up and grab that 
And oh, a beer bottle. That's wonderful. I'll get that too. Where is it? Where's my beer? Oh, it's in the pub. Of course. Get the fuck out of the way, dude. Got all this collectibles and Lambeth cleared. Let's see, do I want to go across a river? It right, looks like there's some a poster and some flowers back in the South Wark. Oh, and I thought this was no, it's a strand. Oh, I'm so <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I should know this. How can I not know my London boroughs? Stop now, crazy stabber! I will probably clear out everything before I even, like, begin. I'll just wait for him to finish him off before I even begin to have enough money for any of the other purchases. There's what you can do. Like lambs to the slaughter. the faintest like yellow outline on him and I was wondering is that a glider I just jumped over? Nope, just a bobby. I will get this one first. Up here down. Oh man, there's a lot I haven't collected in South Park. I think I actually completely skipped this one. be thinking of the city of London or remembering that I wasn't able to get all the flowers and beer bottles there. Wondering why all these stuff was mysteriously appearing. Come on kid, 5,000. 500. Well, we're still getting closer to our goal. Like we're around halfway there for one purchase. I'll take money over any of the other stuff they give. There's a few kids over there. I'll do a little circle around. Nope, not a winner. It's weird activating the second kid. Like, the first kid can take a really long time to fish the money or resources or weapons out of his pocket. And then the second kid doesn't immediately let you get an item from him. You have to go into Eagle Vision, and that sort of lets a game detect, Oh, it's a blighter kid. They give items. We will let you get an item, even though there was already... Another kid giving nice it work. to you. How are you there, Town. Oh, there's two fucking pubs right next to each other. Talk about bad business placement. It looks like 
looks like they're both getting business, sure, but you know, just from a planning standpoint, it's not very bright. There's a poster right on the fucking edge here. I think this might be a River Thames one, actually. That's fine, like, we're gonna get them all this episode, if we can. It'll probably be a long episode. But again, that's fine, it's not a really interesting or intensive one by any stretch of the imagination. I think this is where we assassinated... What was his name? The guy who was Pearl Attaway's rival. Oh sweet, there's a chest! Easy money! That's what I needed. I'll just walk by the poster, why don't I? It's Evie's bloodlust, you know? She just, just gotta get up to someone and give them that stab. Caught up to him and is engaging in a fight. Looks like there's been a killing. Maybe two. <laughs> it's a slide on the cart right between them. Oh, Evie. And I think this is where one of the. Aberline ones where you have to capture a criminal and bring them over. Where is this? You might as well go for it. Oh, don't tell me it's one of these bullshit ones. Fuck it. It's also kind of crap. You have to really zoom in for some of these to appear. Like, there's a flower. Zoom out a little bit. No flower, but the poster is there. if they didn't give, like, non-Brook kids any green on them, because there's been many times I've seen that exact child model and thought, oh, that's probably a little Rook. I should use Eagle Vision to quickly activate their ability to give me an item, and turns out it was just some civilian child. And that doesn't count as killing civilians. There's a flower over there too. Alright, looks like this is actually a pretty good setup. First of all, there's this asshole. And then this asshole. I get to go back, swipe this poster with style, then go back even further. And grab this flower. <laughs> and that completes it all. <laughs> Going the wrong way. Come on, bloody 
Pegasus? That's clearly not Pegasus. You need to brush up on your ancient mythology. You just stay in that alley. alley. Oh, illustration's clear. Time to head on out. Why is that one gold? But you still have one more beer bottle. Take that. I'm just gonna go for a drink. Oh, I think that's like the carriage delivery one. Which I'm not doing. Ned already has all the more shit she needs. I'm done putting up with that. Here, let me help you out. There you go. Won't have horse troubles when you're dead, will you, big boy? It's the easy way. That doesn't matter, does it? thing about going around and killing blighters also is all right just kill yourself Evie oh come on Evie that's not fun is that you get ammunition and other resources or stuff like that that you might have used along the way I don't really care enough to tackle him So you don't have to waste any money on those at the merchants. Alright, looks like we've got everything in Southwark and Lambeth. So let's head over to the other side and sweep our way up. Because there's a lot here and there's also an additional collectible. The letters that we need to get. For those, I think we have all of them. At this point, I'm going to say I'm fairly confident that it's getting in and out of the carriages over and over again. Oh, fuck, I, guess. I guess I've made my choice here. That's causing the crashes when doing these collectible stuff. It's over and over again, like one after the other. So hopefully here there's a first one. So hopefully here it doesn't have that issue. Oh damn it! I I should have shot the birds again. I keep forgetting that. I'm over here. I'm still gonna go down here and handle this stuff. Cause we've still got up there. Actually, is there anything else? Yeah, there's a poster here. Or illustration. I mean, does it matter? <clears throat> like, both words in this case are fairly interchangeable. This is gonna be a nice place to walk around in during the uh, touring London section. Here, everyone get out of my fucking way. 
want to leave that area, alright? Oh man, I, I... I totally jumped the gun when I was trash-talking the Voltaic Bombs. When they were introduced. fun listening to those guys during the tour around London's moments. Like, see, here I am getting all excited to just casually walk around and enjoy the sights of sound of London without, what? No spoilers. Walk around and enjoy the sights and sound of London without having to do collectibles or missions. Sucks a glitch happens with carriages. Report, this would be over a lot sooner if we were able to drive. Politics. kills in su success in it's like one kill after another after another you know what I mean despite this awful inability to speak I assume you know what I mean there Specifically, YouTube. Oh, no. I sure shouldn't use a voltaic bombs because if I ever do find a kid, they're gonna walk up and like I'm gonna get voltaic bombs. I see. Can't approach these cards from behind, and you can't double kill him, so fuck it. I'm not wasting my time. You win this time, blighters. Managing to pick the best card to avoid double assassinations. Because I know if, like, I kill only one, the other will be immediately aggroed, and then the two up there will be aggroed, and it's just gonna be a fucking mess. this game. I guess I don't, but I kind of want to. Helix glitches are gonna be ass to collect. I've tried getting a few of them off camera, but man, do they take a while. None of that. Foul again. Nope. 
Oh, not you. You can sit down all you want. It's those two. These guys are. This is where the cream of the crop of London hang out. The creme de la creme. And then there's these gangster assholes. I'm watching you go. My secret society, you prick. You're only, you know, doing your order of fair number. Walking around uh, in the open like that. Ego vision there, because there's a chest. It's up here. And since it's in the rich area, we should be getting a ton of money. Eh, not too much, but a bit. enough for another map at least. So we'll be getting that when we find a merchant. And there's one right along the way. See how things just sometimes really work out for us? Not always, but sometimes. I don't remember if there was any missions or whatever over here. Alright, I'll get the London tour guide. Because there's a ton of illustrations and I don't want to miss any of them. And then the final one we'll get is a beer tasting one. Really sure thought ahead has all on me having to buy these stupid maps now and harvest money from blighters and chests. Oh, Evie, come on, mate. There's a chest up there. No, well, not up there specifically, but up here. Actually, nope, still not the one. Go and get our first letter. That'll be fun. Well, second letter. I don't remember when I got the first one. We have rooks following, uh, following us along on our adventures. Now we're giving the blighters a turn. A bit feisty though. I don't really like to play nice. Hey, we get nice music. It kind of helps break up the monotony of the silence we usually get. Come on, Come on Evie, hop the bar! Get out of here. It's so difficult. So much more difficult than it needs to be. Oh wow, that guy died outside of the bar. Poor lad. That 
actually, I should save that for later and focus on going more up. Westminster is a pretty big borough. confusing if you're used to the idea of, you know, running and press holding A in order to climb, because technically you should be climbing up a wall there. Instead, it wants you to act as if you're just climbing down. having a lot of blighters around is you can't really harvest money. I want coinage, damn it. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a fucking messenger. There's always like three or four of them around. Those damn messengers. So it's not even able to quickly run up and kill them just so you can get some quick cash. Looks like we're gonna be hanging around Buckingham Palace and getting a few letters. So for everyone who really wanted me to collect those for that mission, which I haven't even posted on YouTube yet, so I don't even know if anyone will want me to. Here we go. Your, your dreams come true today. There's a chest here. I should get it. Looks like it's on the second floor. <laughs> Alright, Evie, that's not exactly the way you do it. But she's still learning. <laughs> so weird the squeaking sound the women make sometimes. Like, <laughs> I can't even replicate it. Cars. Cars are locals a lot higher pitched than what I'm capable of. Like mini mouse. <laughs> Kinda sounds like that. Yeah, try get me in Buckingham Palace, asshole. Proper Eevee away. No Queen Victoria here. Nice if the historical character and friend and PCs you help along the way. Really, there's a golden chest here that I missed. Fuck. 
stayed with you even after you completed their missions. Oh, easy, friend, easy. I did I've not know this was here. How'd you do, big boy? You saw her, and now you don't. The stealthy tactics of Evie Fry. I should probably use this one. And where is it? It looks like it's still inside the building. So it's a good thing I didn't jump out too fast. Um, well, it'd be great if I knew where it was at all. If I could get there. Oh, dude, I love these vases here. These look very nice. And they're bulletproof. Even better. There's something I'm just not getting here with this letter. Not in the building at all, it's in a fucking pocket. What a trollish placement. Unfortunately, there's no blighters out and about here in this area, so no easy money harvesting. There's those two assholes having a gay old time by that tree stump. And now we go all the way back. to appreciate the cloak physics of Evie Fry. You were looking at her cloak, right? Not being a pervert. Nita's gonna be very disappointed in you. Now we have some blighters. Oh, come on! Stupid! That was supposed to be a double kill! Dang it! Nice of you to join me. I was getting lonely on this skirmish. Come on, big boy, follow me. We're going on adventure. No, oh, you lost sight of me. Looks like there's some stuff in the strand here, but we're gonna stick to 
Westminster. Clear it out before moving to another borough. Oh, and this is where Enzio was. Before he was able to take a stab, I came in. Everyone, sure, quick way down from buildings, just rope launch yourself from one building to another, and then drop part way through. Evie might break a few bones on the landing, but she's a big girl, she'll be fine. Kids, nope. And those works on handle helms. Don't worry too much, dude, come on. Just where? Up there, that's easy enough. What's this all about? All right, part way through or halfway through, being the last map. Oh, there's a beer bottle. Didn't even know that was there. See, that's why we need the maps. I missed it and had to go all the way back here. Oh, what? Evie, come on. Gotta read. Hey, she started telling me to go shove myself. Who does she think she is, huh? <laughs> now I have a police friend following me. Start out with Brooks. Then we got some blighters, and now we have some police. Now just making friends everywhere, are we? If he didn't stop to whistle, use his whistle, he could've still kept chasing me. place with that one fucking mission. That one fucking Templar kill. Yep, right along here. He's in those damn voltaic bombs. Posters left, there's one down here and here. Actually, those are two posters left. I'm trying to see, where did I miss a flower? Oh, over there. Oh, no way, this isn't even the right one. Flower over there. a little later. 
Let's focus on these last two posters and at least clear that out of the itinerary. The clutter we clear from the map, the easier it is to find anything else. Just near. Eagle vision really is useful for quickly finding out this stuff. I think it would suck have to go to each house and check individually if there's a chest. Alright, hopefully, hopefully that chest is on the outside of Westminster. Doesn't really look like it. I don't think we're able to get in. Mm. I mean, I'll know when I pass over here. And it is. Oh, good, good leap of faith there, Eevee. Really staying true to the assassin way. Doesn't offer a lot of money, but every little bit counts. Got all posters. Now, seriously, where am I missing that last flower? Like, I can understand missing a beer bottle, I don't have the map for that, but the flower should be on here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Yep. I am blind, man. There's a chest on the outside here. At least I think it's on the outside. Eh, yeah, fuck. I think it's on the inside. Yeah, it is. I'm not gonna put up with all that. So, hasn't this been a riveting episode so far? Just going from place to place, picking up flowers, beer bottles, and illustrations, and letters. Occasionally getting into a skirmish with a Templar. Alright, can I double assassinate? Yes I can. There we go. That's what I want to do. That's odd. This flower looks like it's on an elevation. Normally they're completely on ground level. I don't know exactly where I wanted to go, but alright. Worked best for me because there's a chest up here. Box Eevee. Give the box a good kick. Oh, look, it's right next to those lovebirds. Isn't that sweet? Alright, looks like we got that there. And nice thing is, we're pretty close to this pressed flower. 
So it sort of worked out in the end. We were gonna go up here anyways. <coughs> sure if that was worth it or not, considering we were moving away from our destination here. No. Oh. Well, that didn't even kill her. Apparently the NPC model's hitboxes don't include their asses from the profile view. Oh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> See those birds there, dude? Too many birds. Alright, so it looks like since we've done almost everything we can get in Westminster, we should start focusing on the strand here. There's a beer bottle right here by the first Darwin mission. So we'll say hi to our friend and then continue on. We're going the opposite direction, your ass would be grass. Like these pricks. Hey big boys. stand around talking to important scientists from the era, Evie has a drinking problem. There's an illustration here, didn't even see it. Hi Darwin, hi Darwin. suck if any of this stuff was inside the train station. Like just how big those things are. So I'd go round up and like that. I mean, it's not, it's really no optimal route for this stuff. And all this collectibles, there's a reason. Oh, the train safe is full. There's a reason there's no 100% speedrun category for this game, like nobody's done a hundred percent on this game. Now I'm gonna go to the train and then I'm gonna just go back here and we can get that. If I get the money from the train, that's very easily getting all the money we need for the maps. this. I want to read that. 
Chosen your sharpest knife today. I wonder if we got enough flowers. Black. Dreams don't come true yet. Hold on a second. Why is there a bird in a glass? Looking lovely today, Evie. Grief. Now we're heading back. Another crappy thing is like with this whole collecting business, you can't really just fast travel because there's going to be collectibles along the way from one burrow to another. now but I might as well all right buddy give me the goods and now we have the map for everything and of course now we're just swimming in single blighters walking around unwittingly I think one time I was down here... Oh, here we go. Even though there's no prostitutes, some of these women NPCs here kind of act like them. Especially at night in an area like that. livelier in a, in a British pub at night. I guess not. It's also a good thing that I decided to go to the train because I would not have gotten enough money that soon otherwise to get that map and I would have missed that beer bottle entirely. But really, if it, if it gets to a point where you have to go around paying merchants money for maps this stuff and maybe you've put in a little bit too many collectibles. Why is Evie going around collecting flowers anyways? Like she's she and her her brother at least are on good terms with Darwin. He could probably hook them up with a ton of flowers. Cause that guy had connections at least to people who can hook you up with specimens of flowers and worms and barnacles. <laughs> Be nice if there was a game where Dante Alighieri made an appearance because according to Assassin's Creed 2, he was actually an assassin. And he was a pretty interesting guy. Like the Divine Comedy was a nice little epic poem. A really interesting rhyme scheme though. I've tried making poetry with that rhyme scheme and man, it takes some dedication and real thinking skills to do that. It's like A, B, A, B, C, B, C, D, C, and so on. Oh, there it goes. It's practically prostitution. Interrupting my recitation of the rhyme scheme in the Divine Comedy. How dare you two. People are being robbed of this incredibly insightful commentary during this riveting gameplay. Uh, 
go to map, select collectible. Oh my fucking god, I hate this section of the game because there's so many damn buildings like this where it's blocking a collectible. You select a collectible and then you go to the collectible and then you mash the B button over and over until the game registers you as having obtained the collectible. Then it's back to the map. Oh, I knew there was trouble. I could feel it. Oh, got steel gray. But can I get my favorite color scheme? What's the latest? Actually, I don't know why I would call that kid. Since I'm not really hunting for maps or anything anymore. But, you know, could help later on. Uh, let's see... Is illustration beer bottle. Take bombs, people. Won't end good for you. There's a chest over there and some posters, but I might as well just go back and get this one. Especially since there's flowers and I can go up again. <laughs> How long can I do this before I run into something? Well, not very long. There we go, nice view of Eevee's face. attention to where I'm going or not. Assassin's Creed speedrun challenge. Use only this angle. Almost there. And we should be here. That area with the dynamite for hunting Templars. And he just doesn't care. Like, I just blew up a dude throwing dynamite as carriage and. Once you see that, would you really intervene yourself? Hmm? Do you really try to play hero? Look, look, he's just turning himself away, looking at the bodies, pretending he doesn't know the perpetrator is a few meters away from him. But what could this mad woman be after? That would prompt her to throw dynamite at some guy just trying to get from one place to another in a carriage. Well, I'll tell you what. Massive amounts of collectibles. But 
story should be almost done. Like, after I get this one, it's more of a matter of just going for the things we missed when clearing through the burrows earlier. The stragglers. I shouldn't miss anything in this burrow because I have all the maps by now. It's like one beer bottle in Westminster, a flower in. I'm not sure if it was Whitechapel or the City of London. I think it was the City of London. Almost all of them. flowers in the area. There's the last illustration for this district. And uh, need one more beer bottle. Which is... I'll make sure it's not like behind me. Oh, it's over here. And where am I relation that? I should head over here first. game series, they're going to have to keep adding new, more and more new weapons, ideas, and concepts to the game on top of the uh, classics like the Hidden Blade and Smoke Bombs. So what weapon concepts have you thought of if you're insane enough to just keep watching this up to this point? You ever thought of an interesting weapon idea you'd like to see in Assassin's Creed? Thanks. That was a waste of time. And I found a few, but I'm pretty sure Ubisoft wouldn't accept the rocket powered dildo idea. Would have been great for Connor, though. <laughs> That's what happens when I go around just collecting stupid collectibles. For so long, my mind just starts to rot. Oh. That one isn't very fast than the other. Wow, oh, I didn't know that would actually kill me, I thought. I thought I had enough health. <laughs> uh, I thought I had enough health. But actually help me out, because here I am right by the collectible. <laughs> So there we go, you want to go around collecting things? Just fucking kill yourself. That's the secret. <laughs> Just commit suicide. We have an important yeah, job to you do. Might need it.
this poster is in the red zone. It's like a cart here, some shit I need. You know, things to consider, I don't give a shit, I just want the fucking poster. And I'm gone. Oh, it's for one of the boat missions. If you don't take up the net missions, you can pretty much finish a game in none of the areas other than the scarce few boats will be red zones. So effectively you would have cleared out all Templar influence. But because we have to help Ned Come on kid, you can do it. There you go. It grabs me right by the pussy, kid. Good job. Let's see, have one more beer bottle and two more posters. And this is the city of London. Here's a poster, and there's the other beer bottle. And there's a. Oh, God damn it, right by Aberline. Like, I passed that area like two times. I missed that damn poster. Just goes to show you how cruel the game can be. These kids are getting very greedy, not giving me money. Also, I find it funny that we start off our adventures in London with getting robbed by children. I love it when carriages appear out of nowhere. Start out getting robbed by children, and now we're employing them to essentially rob other people. Only okay when we do it. The mantra of moral high horses and malicious people hiding behind a guise of benevolence everywhere. By the way, is this enough EV fry to last you for a while? Jacob Fry next episode. I mean, there's not really a lot left to do. There's a World War One missions. There's a Darwin missions. Nice to see you again. There's getting the helix glitches, but I don't do those off camera because those really are a fucking bore. Especially now that I know that I can't drive around to them. There we go, all beer bottles cleared. Missing a uh, flight, let's see. Alright, one more poster right by fucking Aberline. Why didn't you warn me, Abilene? Right, I can't drive this carriage over there without crashing. Game. Like, I'll probably crash into a lot of things, but will the game be able to continue the function even though I'm driving in a carriage or the collectible? Only time will tell. Illustrations cleared. So, yep, that's all those. Still need to find all the 
golden chests, which is going to be a bitch and a half. Like, I know one of them is around here, and it's underground. Let's see here. Is beer bottle, flower, is there a fast travel point over there? No, there's one fast travel point in the whole of Whitechapel. So we'll do this. Head up and around. Or I could even just do this and head over. Yeah, I'm just stalling at this point. And again, hopefully the game That's will it. be able to handle a little bit of carriage driving. Because after all that time on foot, I am firmly convinced that that was the reason it was quitting out so much doing the collectibles because it just somehow couldn't handle going one to the other and using carriages to traverse that distance. Oh, nice spot to land, by go right in front of it. What is this? Helix glitch. Alright, we have two flowers and one beer bottle. There's one flower and one beer bottle. So we should have another flower around here. Helix glitch and chest. Am I just completely blind and stupid? Well, we'll go get this one and see what's wrong the long way out oh, here. Well, despite the uh, making it harder, or not even harder, but just longer and more tedious. To get collectibles like Helix Glitches and Chess. I am glad that I now know why the game was quitting out. Some of these collectibles appear when you do the... Oh, is that the only flower we're missing? Oh, well I'm stupid. I thought I was missing two flowers. And I'm even dumber because I'm going the wrong way. What the fuck happened here? <laughs> Some messenger face down in the mud. It wasn't even Evie's doing. If you're going for quick tails, that's probably the worst animation because it takes a longer the longest. It's a really good animation where you're running toward them. And she just quickly swipes at their throat, and that's it. Alright, got all of the stuff there. Got most of the stuff here. What, what flower are we missing? One right here, alright. And there's a fast travel point, so now we can start taking advantage of fast travel points. Which is great, because I am so damn tired of running around the map.
Finally got crimson people. Oh, I'm on level ground. There. Uh, black, violet, fuchsia. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Steel gray. Midnight Blue, and of course my favorite, Crimson, which doesn't really affect it too much, this particular outfit, which already has Love Red, but we'll take it. And we'll also switch it on to Jacob's outfit. There we go. Oh, it looks so good. Skull pressed flowers there. Got everything there is to get there. Got everything there is to get there. Again, got all the stuff there. Oh, one more beer bottle in Westminster. And yeah, it seems that would be it then. No flowers or posters there, and none more there. So let's wrap this bullshit up. Sky, here it is, right by Big Ben here. I'll we'll finish it off with Jacob since his outfit presents the crimson best. Camera angles there. There we go, thief stopped. Oh man, I am tired after all that. It, not like excruciating or anything, but it's it's long. You know, this video is probably gonna be about two two and a half hours long. I go and guess right now. But here's the final one of these collectibles, and I even got an achievement for getting all the beer bottles that I haven't gotten before. And so let's head on back to the train and we'll finish it up. Not the shop. Damn it. Yes, I specifically want to go to that shop right there. That's the one that has all the really good voltaic bombs. And let's talk, finish up this mission, talk to Henry. Nice talks. Interesting thing about this mission is that 
You can actually do it at the start of the game before the Roma romance is even quote unquote built up. So you they can you'll just see what happens and then imagine seeing that and then playing through the game. Where's the top hat? Mignonette. Your qualities surpass your charms. I'm not entirely sure that's meant as a compliment. Love in a mist. That's a pretty name. Alternatively called Devil in a Bush. <laughs> Narcissus. Self love. I should buy a bouquet for Jacob. <laughs> Most unkind, Miss Fry. As amusing as all this is, I really should be getting back to work. If you need me, I'll send a bouquet. Of irises. A message. Indeed. Sometimes I find life in this city. A message. A declaration of love. I, um, Miss Rye, um, you know that I hold you in the highest esteem and, and regard, and I was wondering if you would do me the honor, um, if you would uh, give me your hand in matrimony. Yes. And there we go. So you can have those cutscenes. We've already seen one romantic bullshit thing, let's not have another. You can see those cutscenes before Jacob and Evie even really talk to each other. So this is sort of spoiling the whole subplot. Making you realize that Evie's missions just aren't as interesting as Jacob's. But that has been the collectibles, at least the illustrations, the beer bottles, and the flowers. Those collectibles come along with little tidbits of information in the database which I will be scrolling through near the end of the series. So that's what sort of makes them special and above say chests or helix glitches. But that about concludes it. I hope you, despite how dull this episode must be, got a little bit enjoyment from it, whether you watched the first few minutes and heeded my warning to go to the end, or managed to soldier your way completely through it. Yep, I hope you enjoyed the video, that I gave you something to think about and otherwise entertained you. I'm gonna be going around and collecting chests and helix glitches, oh fun, but off camera. Let's not subject anyone to any more of this, but before that, before that, let's test it out. That was underwhelming. I expected nothing, and I'm still disappointed. <laughs> Take care.